Alrighty, what is up guys? It's Noah here and today we're exploring this very interesting 80s home. Very, very cool place. Uh, it's set to be demolished, so not sure exactly when it's gonna happen, but very interesting house nonetheless. So without further ado, let's go on this adventure. As you can see, we're already in the sunroom. It's already super cool in here. So let's see what else we can find. Alrighty guys, so we are starting in this little sunroom right here. Very cool. If I don't say so myself. Looks like it had tint on it at one point because it's like peeling off on the outside, but you know. Ooh, got an old little TV right there. I think it's kind of cool to have an actual window into the uh, kitchen so if they wanted to, you know, pass stuff to guests or drinks or whatever, they could just do it that way. So it's almost like having a little bar area. So let's head in. So right away, we're in the living room. Very nice fireplace. I like the tile right down here. Always think that's interesting. Nice little fan, I believe, right there too. I like the exposed brick inside. You don't see that very often on the columns. It's just a very 80s home overall. It's, it's very, I don't know, it's got very vibrant colors and stuff like that, so. Step into the kitchen. It's a good trip back in time, look at that. Ooh, drops down a lot. It's not a huge kitchen, but like it's actually pretty nice. Like look at the tiles at the back here. It's very cool. Then there's another one right here. I like the wood though. There's your little window into the sunroom. You got brick up in here again. Very cool. There's not much left behind in this house, but the house itself has a lot of character, so these are always cool ones to explore. But yeah. Interesting. This would have obviously been the dining room. So we'll head to the front. It's actually not a bad little staircase they have. You can see how much dust is collected over time, but it's kind of weird that they've basically taped off the doors. You can't get in. The back door is open, but I guess this is their way to stop people. Not a bad little staircase though. Look at this. You got a black toilet and a black sink. That's pretty cool. I like the bulb lights that they have here too. Kind of interesting. It's like almost a little powder area. Got your shower back here. Got even more design in the uh, tile right there. And right above the toilet too. So that's pretty cool. It's a really weird shaped toilet, it's very thin. <laughs> and we just got a, I guess this would have been another bedroom. It's got the parquet floor. Pretty nice. <laughs> wow, look at the uh, wallpaper. Shiny. Interesting. The, uh, the moldings on the doors are pretty nice. They really remind me of like a farmhouse. So I'm gonna make my way, I think, downstairs first this time, guys. We'll go check out what's down here. Then we'll head upstairs. Hmm. 
What is this? Whoa. Why? They just have like an oven built into the wall here. That's so random. Fridge Air Canada General Motors. Wow. That's super unique. I have never once seen that before in a house. That's very cool, guys. Is that something that used to be popular back in the day? If you know, let me know down in the, in the comments below because like, I have simply never seen this. This might have been commonplace, but you know, I was born in 1998, so I'm not sure. Little parquet landing right there. Pretty cool. This looks just like a little cold cellar. A massive cold cellar, sorry. Um, okay. Just some storage space in here. Can't get over that, that's so cool. It smells very musty down here. Oh, there's the rest of the oven right there. It was still hooked up, so it's still working probably. Isn't that like knob and tube wiring right there? Pretty sure. Some basic cleaning supplies. Nothing crazy interesting there. Looks like this would have been maybe a little workshop. Got some stuff here sitting around. Pretty cool. That little door there, because I'm sure somebody's going to ask. That just leads outside, so just so you know. I think this one more room. This is a puzzle. You can see a piece is missing right there. So what is this room? Yo, Yo it's a fitness room. Huh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Like an elliptical of some sort. Pretty interesting. Yeah, it's just like a little home gym. That is a very like industrial looking shower. If I don't say so myself. Oh nice, and this is a little sauna. Pretty good, guys. It's a nice little house, actually. That's funny, though, that there's a indoor gym just hanging out here. They're definitely using, yeah, you can see they were using this, how many sit-ups they needed to do, stuff like that, so. It's kind of cool. Oh, here's another puzzle that they've hung on the wall. Interesting. Okay, Alright guys, so we gotta head upstairs. It's very loud. Nice staircase, it's a very thick banister. I'm gonna start over here. Pretty cool chandelier light right there. Let's see, what is this bedroom? This just looks like your basic bedroom right here. Got a record player hanging out right there. That's cool, look at the old Hikachi TV. It's pretty interesting. It's been sitting there for a long time.
This is on a busy road, guys, so there's a balcony right here, but I'm not gonna go out onto it right now, so you can see the roads right there. Give you a look down at the stairs. Another fairly large bedroom right here. You can see the flooring's buckling right here. Very weird. These upstairs rooms are fairly empty though guys, so not tons left behind unfortunately. Ooh, oh, did not see you. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, look at how big this washroom is, holy. Look at how like ornate it is and like how detailed it is. Huh. You got your toilet, you got your bidet, make sure you get one, it'll change your life. Um, the tiling is almost, it's almost intoxicating, like, it's like wavy, it kind of disorients you. That's kind of not a great place for the mirror. Like you're sitting on the bidet and like you would pretty much see yourself just like hanging out, cleaning your butt. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Very nice home though guys. Like it's, it's very much stuck in the 80s though. But again, there's character here. There's, you know, personality throughout this home, which is something you really just don't see much these days. You can see the dust all forming on these lights too, like it's just, it's weird. What I think is interesting though is that the, uh, they have a, like an actual closet in the washroom, like a sliding door closet. It's a good use of space. Oh Jesus. I love this washroom. This looks like the spare room, but it's uh, actually there's quite a bit of stuff left in here. Um, hey, my grandpa had this helicopter. It's a very cool little helicopter. It's big, but it's a fun thing to fly. We used to do it at my uh, at his place, so that was pretty cool. Oh yeah, okay, look at this. It's old. Radio Shack. <laughs> All right, guys, I think this is the last room. Got the box for the big helicopter. Got two TVs in here, that's kind of interesting. That's pretty much it, guys. It's not much left to this house. We're gonna wrap it up there. All right, guys, so that is the end of this explore. This is actually a pretty cool house. Uh, it's a very, very 80s home, just trapped in time, basically. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, comment down below, what do you think of this place? Uh, do you think it's gonna be saved? Do you think it's gonna be demolished? There's a demo fence sign, or no, there's a demo sign out front, so my guess it's gonna be demolished, but sometimes they do make it through. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to everybody that's subscribed and has donated me a coffee, and I will see you guys in the next one.